If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hello out there in internet land. This is the Weekly Recap Q&A. That's a show where I sit in my car and answer questions from last week that people have emailed to me or commented on uh, my YouTube videos. And I sit in my car because it doesn't sound half bad with the microphones on my camera. Cars are acoustically nice. So with that said, if you have a question you would like to ask me, please email me at thefrugalfilmmaker at gmail.com and I'll do my best to answer it here on the show as well as in person on through the email, as personable as that may be. Uh, so let's go ahead and get uh, right on into our questions. The first one comes from uh, Francisco Gonzalez Jr. who's asked me questions before. He says, with the whole industry pushing 4K cameras, 4K editing, 4K TVs, and so on, would you shoot your movie in 4K to make it future-proof for the upcoming 4K technology in the near future? Uh, Francisco is referring to my thesis film that I'm currently in pre-production on, Collection Day. Uh, would I shoot it in 4K? Well, Looking at the cameras, my director of photography suggested that, possibly, shooting in 4K. I have some issues with it. Number one, to get a camera that shoots in 4K would be prohibitively expensive. Even the Sony uh, FS700 that we were looking at getting, um, which I'm still not, haven't picked a camera yet, but uh, they have a 4K recorder now for that. Um, pretty expensive, you know, over $2,000 to rent. Uh, that's the camera with the recorder. I just don't have that in my budget. Um, and I don't really think I need to shoot in 4K right now. I mean, I understand how it's coming and everything. And I've always been, you know, been a believer in shooting in the highest resolution possible that you have. But, you know, HD isn't going to go away uh, for a while. And especially since I shoot most of my stuff and distribute all of my stuff on the web, I don't necessarily see the need for 4K. 4K resolution is something for a movie theater. And uh, even though my thesis film will make its debut in a theater for at school and may play a festival or two, um, that's about as far as I'm going to take it in that route. And I prefer to, you know, I'm much more aimed at the web, and so I don't see the need to shoot my film or any of my stuff in 4K because of the money. Now, maybe you know, in the future, when cameras and monitors and everything else drop to the level they are now, they're in 4K, and I'm sure that'll happen. However long it takes in the future, 10 years maybe. And of course, I'm going to shoot in that format because it'll be much more uh, ubiquitous. It'll be everywhere. Uh, so, but for this film, no, I don't. I don't see the need, and I don't have the budget to do it. And not to mention trying to edit uh, 4K files. Uh, it takes a supercomputer uh, that I don't have, so I don't want to do transcoding. I want to be able to shoot my movie and edit it on whatever computer I have. I might have to upgrade my computer to do it, but not as much as I'm going to have to upgrade to edit a 4K file, which is going to be insanely big. So, there you go. No, I'm not doing 4K right now. Thanks for writing in, Francisco. All right, Daz30 writes me and says, I'm using a Rode video mic with a Sescom iPhone mic 35-1 cable connected to my iPod 4 and an extension cable on a boom mic connected to my Rode video mic. I use an app called iTalk by Griffin, which is reliable up to a point. What I am getting is random half a second drops in sound. Sometimes the drops are close together, then it is fine for a while. I cannot afford to splash on, on, out on a proper digital audio recorder. I would really like to get to the bottom of this so I can have a confidence in using my Rode mic for future interview shooting. Um, Daz is talking about shooting this documentary and he keeps getting this dropping audio because he's recording into an iPod 4. Now I know a lot of people record into their iPhones, their iPads. I know there's uh, some microphones, some special mics you can actually get for them, uh, made by Tascam, I think. However, I have never used an iProduct to record sound. I, I always always used either directly into the camera in the past, or now I use a Zoom H1. Those are $100. I can understand if you don't have the money for that. Uh, but I don't have any experience doing this. You know, My first thought is that when you're recording into a device that does more than one thing, uh, the device might be having trouble multitasking, and maybe that's why it's dropping sound. I don't know if you can try a different. You might want to try a different app to see if that works. There's tons of those. Uh, you might want to get rid of the extension cable and just see to plug your mic right into your i your iPod to see if that gets rid of the problem. Um, you can try a lower sampling rate. Um, all those, you know, try try everything to isolate the problem. And my guess is that Daz has done all those things and it still isn't working. So due to my inexperience in using an iPhone or an iPod to record sound, and a lot of people do it successfully, maybe some of you out there who uh, have done this and could recommend something to Daz, 
to help him with this problem because he talks about here how he, you know, had an interview that he recorded for a documentary and then he went back to listen to the sound and the sound was dropping out to the point where he couldn't edit it to make it audible. And uh, I know we've all had those experiences when we get in the uh, post-production process and a nightmare happens and you're thinking about fixing it and he, you know, brings up a good um, concern, you know, that he doesn't want to have to go back to these people and re-interview them because that will look unprofessional and I uh, completely understand that. So. Uh, I'm not sure how he could fix his current audio, but I'm sure there's a way to fix his audio problem. Hopefully it's not the device itself, you know, maybe you'd have to dump everything off of it and reformat it because there's some glitch um, that it's having, that the device itself is having, I don't know. Um, so if anybody can recommend anything for Des, please comment uh, below to help him out. Hopefully that problem can be fixed. Uh, that's that's the kind of the question actually for today is you know how do you record sound on your eye product uh, maybe there is some formula out there that can help Daz or anybody else I've looked into doing it uh, I, I don't personally I mean I have an iPhone I don't know if I trust it to record sound mostly because I don't have space to record sound um, so I don't bother and plus I have a zoom that I'm perfectly happy with and then a final question or final issue I would like to bring up is that many of you have said in various comments on my YouTube videos that hey those subtitles are awful <laughs> they're not right it's funny because they're either either the comments are that these are hilarious because they're so far off um, that it's comedy or hey this is unprofessional you're not doing yourself any favors by putting up these inaccurate subtitles now the reason that I had the subtitles was I noticed YouTube isn't even doing this anymore is that you could have automa automatic subtitles where YouTube their algorithm or whatever would interpret what you were saying or attempt to interpret and then change them into subtitles and I thought oh that'd be nice you know I could reach uh, hearing impaired audience and uh, that'll be great but I, I noticed that the subtitles were wrong and so I would have to go in I think I did this on one video go in and actually make it accurate uh, but it took a lot of time and time that I don't have so I left them up uh, I think that was probably a mistake <laughs> to leave them up, even though some of you seem to have enjoyed them for their just complete absurdity and wackiness. Um, so, I don't know. What, what do you think I should do? Should I leave them up, take them down? Uh, probably my brain says take them down. Some professional, my heart says, hey, it's funny. So, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, if you, could, if you could let me know what you think I should do, I'll do it. Uh, we'll see, uh, see what kind of response I get. Um, so that's it. You know, again, the question is going to be, what do you do to record on your iDevice? device? Uh, you know, go ahead and leave uh, answer that question as well. Lots of questions to answer. And if you wanted me to answer your your letter, or your email on this show, please email me at thefrugalfilmmaker at gmail .com. That's your best chance of getting your question read. Uh, there's also my blog, thefrugalfilmmaker dot com. You know, there's the Facebook group. That's another good place to post questions because there's a lot of knowledgeable people there. Uh, much more so than me, so try that. All the, again, all these links are below, and there's Twitter where I, I'm attempting to microblog and share random small thoughts about things that I'm working on and doing, and that may prove to be helpful as well. So that's it. That's the recap Q&A. I uh, hope you have a great week. If you're working on a movie, good luck. I'm cur currently mired in my own project right now, uh, which is taking up all my time and keeping me very, very busy, and uh, I'll let you know how that progresses as well. So have a good week. See ya.